What you see in front of you are four pieces, uh, four items. And with these four items, I'd like to show you something interesting involving magnetic fields and currents. So what I've got here is, of course, this is just a regular D cell battery. I've got some wire that's just been bent and twisted into a loop. Now this is uh, what's known as magnet wire. The wire it itself is shielded. There's a, a little insulation uh, on the wire so that as I bend it and twist it into this loop, the different strands of the loop are not touching each other electrically. They're electrically isolated from each other. And what that does is that allows the, if I put a, a, a potential difference across the ends of this wire, then that would drive a current through the wire, but the current can't just touch different wires and then go around one way and then come across. No, it's gotta go around the whole loop and do it several times before it can reach the other end to get out. Okay, so we've got some loops of wire that are going to allow us to drive a current several times through those loops. We also got a little permanent magnet here. And we've got this holster and all this holster is uh, for is to help us create our circuit. So if I take this holster and I stick the battery in here, that's now going to make it so that this end is a high potential uh, 1.5 volts above this end. Okay. And of course, if I take my, my um, if I take away the magnet and I take my wire loop and I drop it in here. Now what I've done is on two sides of the wire loop, I've stripped away the shielding. And you can't really see that very well because the camera isn't focusing on my hand. But uh, right here and right here, I've taken and scratched off the shielding so that right on those locations or in those regions, it will connect electrically. And so if I put it down like this, I get a little circuit and it will, if I let it sit there for a long time, it's just wiggling back and forth just because my, uh, my, my uh, loop isn't perfectly balanced. But uh, it's gonna basically just run current. It's gonna heat up because there's resistive heating. You know, the copper has some resistance. It's not gonna do anything very interesting though. Things get more interesting when I add the little magnet back in. So I'm gonna put the little magnet right here. And what this is going to do is now in this region, there is a magnetic field. Either it's pointing mostly upwards. It actually goes out a little bit. It's not uniform, but it mostly points either up towards the camera or down towards the battery. I'm not sure which one it is. But watch what happens now when I put my little wire loop back in. I'm, of course, going to get current flowing through the wire loop. And as I let it go, it just begins to spin. It just begins to spin. So there's an interaction between the magnetic field and the current in this wire. Oops, gotta stop if I let it go again. There it goes. There's an interaction between the current in this wire and the magnetic field in this wire that is causing a torque, a twisting of this wire loop. By the way, you can make this a demonstration at your house. All you need to acquire was some magnet wire. It's a little different from regular wire. And then, because uh, again, because it's shielded, and then a permanent magnet and a battery. And you could do this yourself.